In this video, we are going to talk about the earthing options for our PV systems. The essence of earthing is to ensure that all parts of the building which could become charged are maintained at or near earth potential. Otherwise, phenomena such as uh, potential induced degradation might happen or safety issues may arise. Below, a PV system has to be connected to the ground circuit of the building or construction. Since uh, it would not be safe to keep it uh, electrically floating, we are going to present four types of earthing systems for uh, PV systems. In green, the circuit protective conductors are depicted. Their task is to join together all exposed conductive parts and connect them to the main earthing terminal. For example, a very easy option is to connect the aluminum frame of all the modules in series and then connect uh, everything to a metallic rod which below has to be at least 2.5 meters deep in the ground and 1 meter away from the building. The purpose of the circuit protective conductors is to provide a path for earth fault current and to remove dangerous potential differences induced uh, under fault conditions. Next to it, instead of the uh, metallic rod, it is used just a normal cable, but uh, uh, much deeper in the ground, about 5 meters, and uh, a little bit farther away from the building. These two methods are usually uh, good for uh, small applications, such as a household with an installed peak power of uh, 3 or 4 kilowatts. However, there exist different topologies uh, that are uh, uh, thought to be safer and which have little variations in each country according to the differential laws. In uh, this variant, the PV generator is linked to the equipotential bonding bar, which uh, eliminates the potential difference uh, between the conducting parts. Here, all the earthing cables uh, of the building are connected together, and in this case, the earth is just uh, within the foundation of the house. In this figure, we can also recognize an inverter, a meter box uh, that measures uh, the amount of uh, electric energy consumed, and a house uh, connection box, and finally, a generator connection box next uh, to the PV panels. The last configuration that we are going to introduce is uh, a down conductor of the lighting protection system as an earthing conductor, where uh, the earth electrode for the PV generator is the lightning protection earth electrode. Uh, these two arrangements are defined by the international standard as uh, TN and uh, TT, and uh, now we will see why. The first letter, T, indicates the connection between earth and the power supply equipment, which is uh, the PV generator. Therefore, T means that the generator is directly connected uh, with earth. Then uh, the second letter rather indicates the connection with the electrical devices being supplied. Therefore, in a TN earthing system, the conductor protective circuit of the consumer's uh, electrical installation is via the protective earth cable supplied by the electricity network. On the other hand, in a uh, TT earthing system, the protective earth connection of the consumer is provided by a local connection to earth, independent of any earth connection at the generator. The big advantage of the TT earthing system is that it is clear of uh, high and low frequency noises that come from connected equipment, and thus TT has always been preferable for special applications like uh, telecommunication sites that benefit from uh, interference-free earthing. This is an example of a TT earthing system with the lightning protection made uh, with a metallic structure along the roof. It is the simplest solution to design and install in systems uh, supplied directly by the public low voltage distribution network. It does not require continuous monitoring during operation and it ensures that the each installation fault results in an interruption in the supply of power. Here the lighting protection system is uh, highlighted on top of the roof. At the edges of the roof you may see the lightning rods or uh, air terminals which are vertical protrusions uh, designed to act as a terminal for uh, a lightning discharge. Then rods are connected uh, through conductor cables that carry lightning current from the rods to the ground. These cables uh, run along the top and uh, around the edges of the roof, then uh, down one or more corners of the building to the ground. So uh, to recap, we have seen uh, the possible earthing system for uh, uh, the PV generator, starting from the simplest ones and then going to more sophisticated ones, which are also safer. 
These two arrangements uh, on the uh, right hand side are defined by the international standard and differ in the earthing connection of the consumer. In the next video, we will show you a practical example of a house with a photovoltaic system and we will discuss all the mounting issues uh, related.